Now it says here, three weeks minimum, three months maximum. That was their length of stay. They stay in here waiting for their ship to arrive. The condition in here was very poor. Malaria, diarrhea, cholera killed many of the slaves. Some also decided to starve themselves to death. Now there was no light in here. The condition was very poor. Do you like it? Okay, so imagine the door here closed. 200 men in here. How dark this would be. If you were sick, you are not the same. So due to this, at the end of their stay, some were partially blinded. You are so mad. Right on top of this chamber lies the church. The church on top of the middle of the house. Initially, the law was passed in 1807 in England to mark the end of slave trade. Down here, slave was still Hello everyone, you yeah, humbly welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Rufina Tank here, and I say a very big thank you to you all my subscribers, especially my returning subscribers. If you're new to this channel, please do well to subscribe to the channel so that you become a part of the family. So this particular video is a continuation of my last video which is on the cape coast castle the cape coast castle is one of the castles that was used in the transatlantic slave trade in my previous video a lot was shared about the transatlantic slave trade the history and the male slave dungeon how the slaves were treated before they were transported to the caribbean and then europe so i'll leave a link to the beginning part of the video in the comment section so that you all can watch that also please do me a favor by sharing this video so that others will also get the chance to learn about transatlantic slave trade that took place in africa let's move down this to see the condemned cell hmm? uh, so because of the sun let's watch our heads while we move inside we are in the condemned cell now, initially, this place used to be a storeroom. So when they needed this place for the condemned cell, the entrance was blocked. They created three new doors. The very first door, the middle door, and the last door. It was designed for men only. Now, those who were brought here were called freedom fighters. Those who tried fighting for their freedom. If you are caught, they first beat you outside, they later bring you in here. In here, no food, no water, no light, no air. No one was brought in here, went out alive. Yeah, absolutely already. <laughs> now, the sad thing in here was when 10 people are brought here at the same time, and one dies the very first day they were brought here, the body will not be taken out. It remains here till they all so imagine when the body starts rotting, the stench alone can suffocate the rest to death. Now I would like off the light for a few seconds. Let's see how dark the place will be. So imagine the two doors are here. Can you imagine how dark the place would be? No one was brought in here, went out alive. The condemned cell. Okay. We are not slaves. I don't want anybody to die in here. So let's watch our heads whilst we move on. <laughs>
last chamber. The tunnel we couldn't walk through. This part of the time. Uh, so oh. all the way from the last chamber, they moved through this to the exit. Okay. They joined the females. They used the door of the door. Okay. Now, if you want to have a look, to see how deep wide it is. You first watch your head. One step. Move back. One step. Why is good? There are no steps. Just okay, so from again. here, let's see the Won't end you? of the tunnel. <laughs> it's very deep. So Not too unbalanced. So how do you get it? No, you open the door. So you just okay. peep. Not to balance worry. Let's step down. marks the end of the tunnel. So all the way from the last chamber, the men move out here. The females down there will join them here. Use the initial door of no return. Now this was the initial door. This place was blocked because the tidal waves was coming in here. So they had to block this, create a new door of no return. So from the last chamber, they move out here, join the females down there use the door of no return. Now, the door of no return was very small and narrow, designed for one person at a time. If you visit a winner castle, you will see the original door in its state. So from here, let's see the female punishment cell. Tell you why the females were also punished. <laughs> Female punishment cell designed for females who resisted rape. If a soldier or a governor wants to do something with you and you refuse, you say no. You were brought in here seven days. You were fed once a day. The passage of food and water and also their source of light and ventilation. Minimum five, maximum ten people in here. Now door here closed. If within the seven days you give up, you wave through this hole. A soldier seated over here picks you out, wash you in the ocean. They take you to bed, rise from bed, they bring you back to the dungeon. Now out of the rib, some were found pregnant. If you are pregnant, you were moved from the dungeon. They had warehouses. Doctors, nurses were there. They would take care of you until you deliver. Now, after delivery, you were allowed to breastfeed the baby for some few months. They take the baby from you. They bring you back to the dungeon. Now, those kids were the mulattoes and the mulattoes. They were schooling up there where they had their chest service. Now, these kids grow up take over from the soldiers. They become middlemen. They help in capturing slaves. That was their duty here in the castle. Now they gave them names according to whoever gave them to them. So for instance, if he is a soldier and he's called Jack, he gave birth to me, I become the son of Jack. Making Jackson. Mm -hmm. If he is Tom, he gave birth to me, I become the son of Tom. So we have Thompson. So the son, son, son. names we have, that was how we had all the names. Nelson, Thompson, Ferguson, Dixon, Morrison, those things. From here, let's see the females name. Thank <laughs> you. 
always open. dungeon we had five chambers and each chamber held 200 captives. In the female slave dungeon we have only two chambers, this very chamber and the one right opposite. And each chamber held 150 captives at a time, making 300 women in the female slave dungeon. Now the condition down there was the same thing in here. They did everything in the chamber. 150 women in here, their source of life and ventilation were the three rows up there. Now, the only difference of which I termed as the sad difference. You see, females undergo their menstrual cycle every month. 150 women in here menstruate at the same time. Four days, five days, seven days, depending on your cycle, everything will be done in here. No cleaning, no washing, nothing. So if you are seated here, you menstruate here, you sit in, you sleep in, you are eating in as well. No clothes. For three good months, waiting for your ship to arrive. The only chance females had to wash themselves or clean their mess was when a soldier or a governor wants to do something with you. They pick you, they wash you in the ocean, they take you to bed. Right from bed, you were brought back here. Now because of that, many females allow themselves to be raped because they needed to clean themselves, wash away their mess. Now remember, slave trade do not end here in Africa. From here, these slaves were sold to plantation owners out there. The brutality continued. They were rebranded to identify them in their various plantations. Now, from here, one may ask why were females added to the trade? Why were females added to this atrocity? Now, the new females will give birth, multiply in number. I always ask this question. If you are a true businessman and you really mean business, how are you going to keep your commodities? Are you going to keep them in a safer place, in a safer condition? Or you are just going to keep them anyhow? Now if I I'm a true businessman and I really mean business. My communities will be kept in a safer condition, in a safer place. So I will attract customers. So if this British really meant business, why this atrocity? Why this maltreatment? It's very simple. Because they knew they had this enslaved Africans cheap. They were exchanging human beings with commodities such as gun, gunpowder, mirror, tobacco, sugar, wine, toffee, bracelets, cheap fabrics. So they knew they had them cheap. So if thousands of them should die now, they will get thousands to replace them. At a cheaper cost or a cheaper rate. That was how they were treated in enslaved Africans. Now from here, Let's see the door of no return. Door of no return. Now, door of no return because 
No one went through this door and came back. If you walk through this door, you lose your identity as a human being. You lose your language as well. In fact, when you move through this door, you cease to be a human. Because out there, you were forced to do everything. You were forced to speak the language of your master. Bear the name of your master. Out there, your master was speaking French, Spanish, English. That's the language you'll be forced to speak. Now, slaves right from this door were taken to the Americans, the Caribbean, the Barbados, Jamaica, New York, Brazil. On which Brazil had the larger part of the slaves. So if you visit Brazil, you will see black people all over. Now in Africa, our names, our language identifies who we are, where we are coming from. In here, our local names were all corrupted. Kweku, a Wednesday born, was corrupted into Kwaku. Yao, a Thursday born, was corrupted into Yossi. Now Kwesi is today Quincy. Our local names were all corrupted. Now we have a name called Kuntu. And Kuntu means blank. Kuntu is today blank. All our names were corrupted. Now remember, in the dungeon, communication was very difficult because of language barrier. Because these slaves were captured from different angles. Today, you and I are not slaves. We are moving out. We are assured to return. In fact, return safely. Let's move. Slaves right from this door were forced into this smaller boat. Similar one like this. To the bigger ships about 20 meters from here, pack them like sardines, head to head to, in that order. Four months on the sea to the Americans and the Caribbeans. Now this whole area is called the European Beach because only Europeans were allowed to swim in here. Now these slave ships came with wonderful names like humanity, peace and love, justice and freedom, God is love. So many wonderful names. Now these Europeans were not using this same door of no return. They had the golden states. Now on the bigger ships, the weak ones were unchanged. If you are found pregnant on the bigger ships, you were thrown upward. <laughs> now the weaker ones, before they reach their destination, if you are still weak, you were thrown upward. Some also decided to kill themselves rather than being killed by another man. So we are in chains and shackles. I tried jumping off, I pulled the others. We all died together. Now, when we all look back, we will see the door of return, which means we all shall return back. Now we had this door in the year 1998, when we celebrated our first emancipation day. Two dead bodies who were slaves in here. Madame Crystal, Samuel Carson. Madame Crystal to the Jamaica, Samuel Carson to the New York. Their dead bodies were exhumed from the graves. They brought them back, performed a short ceremony for them to break their bones, saying no one went through this door and came back. Though they are dead, but they have retained. They performed ceremonies for them. Remember, not all the slaves were captured here in Ghana. So where they took their last African back, as the Asinamans, they were reburied there. So if you visit Asinamans today, you will see the graves of Samuel Carson and the Fresca rest in peace. Okay, so before we end our presentation, the down floors were the storeroom for these Europeans. And the top buildings were their offices. And today, the middle part happens to be the biggest museum in West Africa. But today, it's under renovation. 
So you and I cannot go up there. Now, <clears throat> before we end our presentation, I have a powerful message for you. Now, I always tell my visitors, the only person who can give you the exact details or information you need to know in here happens to be the walls of the castle. If the walls could speak, they would tell you everything you need to know about slavery. Since they cannot speak, I am doing it. And what I did today might not be all. Now, slave trade is no more, but slavery is ongoing in a modernized way. Today, child trafficking, human racism, tribalism, they are all forms of slavery. Now, Martin King Luther once said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Now, there's this gentleman, Mr. Injustice, is everywhere. You and I cannot stop him, but we can minimize his act. One person cannot do it alone. When we all come together, we will make this world a better place to live. Now, I have nothing for you. I leave you with my name, Bessie. Now, before we go, for further reading, we have some wonderful books. I would like to recommend to each and every one of you. So from here, we we'll move to the reception. I will show you the books. Thank you all so much for watching Akia Lady Day. I want to say a very big thank you to you all for watching this video and a special thank you to our tour guide Kwesi for taking his time to explain in details all that happened during the transatlantic slave trade in Africa. Please do well to leave your comments about what you think about the video and don't forget to like, comment and share the videos. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.